Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace and I am a Squarespace website designer for travel photographers. I decided to start a video series on five ways to get noticed as a travel photographer. Um, there's actually more than 500 million Instagram users that are active every single day. And as of June 2018, there was 1 billion monthly active users. So as a travel photographer, that means there's a lot of competition out there for you, for people traveling and sharing photos online. It's just you know, common, easy thing to do nowadays. Um, so I completely understand the struggle of how hard it can be to get noticed, and especially if this is your income, it can be very stressful. Um, so I decided to start this video series, and today we're gonna be going over the first one, um, and then on Thursday I will post uh, number two, and we'll just keep going twice a week um, until we get to number five. So today is sort of a two-part one, um, and that is picking a specialty, also called a niche, and designing your ideal client avatar. Um, so if you're trying to appeal to everybody, you end up appealing to nobody, and it can be very scary, I completely understand it can be very scary to um, niche down, to uh, pick something really specific because you're scared that you're going to weed out other people that you could potentially use as clients. But the problem is that if you're not um, really specific on a style um, or a type of photography, then people, when they come to your page, or whether it's a web page or your Instagram, they're not really sure what they're what to expect from you, and so they end up moving on to somebody else. Where if they come to your page and they see that you're really specific, you have a specific style, a specific vibe that really matches with them, they're gonna just know immediately that you're the person to go to because they know exactly what to expect and that they're going to end up with a product that they really like. Um, so, you know, part one, figure out what your niche is, figure out what your style, what's specific to you, and really stick to that. Um, part two to that is developing your ideal client avatar. So essentially, you want to figure out what person um, would you be most excited to work with. What do they like? How old are they? Are they location specific? Um, what style do they like? What vibe do they like? What, what websites, podcasts do they listen to? You really want to get to know this person and figure out who they are so that when you are, um, you know, niching down or designing your styles, you know, figuring out who you are, the language you're using on your sites, um, that sort of stuff, you can make sure that you're going towards that one person. Um, again, it can be scary because you're like, well, I don't want to weed anybody out. I don't want to, um, you know, you know, take off from any potential clients that I could have, uh, but if you're, they're not going to be the person that you're, um, you want to attract, if they're not going to be somebody you're going to be excited to work with, um, then when you show that work on your Instagram or on your website, you're going to be bringing in clients that you don't really want to work with and repeat with. Um, so to conclude, part one, niche down, figure out your style, and kind of attach to that is figure out who your ideal client is, make sure that they align so that you're really appealing to that specific type of person and you'll attract the specific type of person.